What's going on guys? Uh, remember in my last video, the one where I replaced the Mario Kart uh, DS cart shell? I mentioned that I need to fix my PlayStation because there is a crack in the middle of this guy. And what it was doing, it was causing the disc to spin higher than it should and it was rubbing up against the top shell here. And I thought that it was just the shell, but then after closer examination, there was a crack in the middle of this guy. So, uh, I went ahead and ordered these guys. And um, these are, I ordered two of them just in case I broke one. I am going on the advice of what I read in the Amazon uh, comments because uh, people that, are, that order these recommended that you order two because sometimes like the first one will break, especially when you're taking it off. Uh, I thought these were plastic, but it's actually ceramic. So you can hear the clinkety clink. So I can imagine that it must be frustrating when you're trying to take one of these off or put this on and else it breaks. Uh, I know I've seen some other videos on how to replace this thing or this part, this spindle. And some there's a guy on YouTube that he mentioned that you should use like an older CD player with uh, that that's broken so you can use one of these but I don't really recommend that reason being is because these bearings can wear down and they don't hold the disc as tight as they should so um, I decided to order some new ones uh, I did order from Amazon a place called Komono Sales I think I'll check the receipt right now I'll put the I'll post the link up in the description uh, as of this recording they only have three left three of these guys left but uh, I found another place that so well I got these for five bucks each from Amazon plus shipping was like seven eight bucks well eighteen bucks kind of yeah I know it's kind of expensive but uh, but there's another place that sells it. I think it's called Richie's Parts or Rich's Parts or something like that I also put a I'll post a link in the description uh, they sell them for ten bucks each so there really isn't that much of a price difference but um, I don't know it's up to you guys wherever you want to order it from. I also read on Amazon, on one of the comments, suggested that you would use a butter knife to pry this guy out. Kind of agree, because I was originally going to use a flathead screwdriver, but uh, since they're kind of like, uh, they have a hard flat tip, and they're pretty sharp, so I can imagine that it might do some damage to either the new disc or the, the PlayStation itself, and since this is kind of like dull, and a little bit stronger. Um, I can imagine. Uh, I, well, I would suggest probably using this too. Well, let's see how it goes. And the, the original idea that I had to shoot this video, I was going to take this off first and then do the process of putting the new spindle on. But that that wouldn't really be fair because I know it's, there's some people out there who want to know how to take this guy off first. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's get started. Let's hope I don't hurt myself or break anything. All right, so I don't know if you could see, there is a small crack right here, a very small crack. And yeah, and even this small crack is causing the spindle to actually lift up. So what I'm going to do, away from the laser, I'm going to put my butter knife under. You can see how this is kind of going back. And I'm going to lift side to side. Hopefully this guy comes off. You want to get it all the way in to where it hits the motor, so you can kind of like pry it off. Oops, so you broke. That's what you don't want to happen. All right. Well, it was broken anyway. So. Oh, shit. Yay! Broken stuff. See if we could get the rest of this out. Don't want you to go in there. Okay. Whew. Broken stuff. Pop out. Pop out. There you go. See, that's what you want to happen. The first time. There's a the motor. Man, that was a pain in the ass. Now I have like, I have to look for ceramic pieces now. Even, wow, okay. 
Now here's the first one. Let's hope I don't break it. And I'll just keep this just in, uh, just in case I need it. So the idea is just kind of push it in. Oh man, I am so scared. <laughs> All right. All right. I don't want to break anything. Closer. In. Try pushing them from the top. If only they made like a rubber mallet for this. Not ceramic friendly. I won't break it. Alright, I'm going to try pushing it down this way. Come on. Go in. Yeah, I know. Probably anybody who is watching this is probably holding their breath right now. So am I. So am I. This guy doesn't want to go in. Kind of have to be really careful not to break anything else. Slowly but surely, it'll go down. Hopefully. Yeah, works. Yeah, right. It's not all the way down, by the way. Maybe I should have just bought the motor. <laughs> no. Okay. It's going down a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Um. You don't want to apply force like that. But little by little. Like as I'm looking at it go down, it's going down little by little. You don't want it to, you don't want to bang it. Like I said, this is ceramic. Even though I thought it was plastic, but it's ceramic. It's going to break easy. Just like the other one, like this bastard. Fucker. Alright. Ah, there we go. I think, yeah, I think I did it. Right. Just to be sure, I'm going to do it just like that. Ultimate test. See, the reason why you don't want to use your finger is you see this little metal pole right here that actually holds the spindle in. And when you push down, it'll probably go in your finger and you might end up pushing it too far down. That's not what you want to do. Let me grab a game. Uh, what do I want to play? Ray Crisis. Let's check Ray Crisis. Alright, pop it in. Oh, wow. Okay, spin it. Yeah, it's still a little too high. You could tell because it's not supposed to stop when I close it. See? Wow. Cool. Alright. So, I'm going to push this down a little bit more, preferably like that. <clears throat> Hopefully it went down a little bit more. Mm, it's still a little too high. I am sweating, man. It's hot in my room in this office-like environment. All right, so let's try it. And you can still hear it scraping on, scraping on the roof. All right. A little bit more. Let's see if I just press it down. A little bit more. Closer examination, it's still not quite down all the way. Yeah, 
I always thought these were plastic. <sighs> All right, let's see. Hopefully that'll do it. I don't think so. Yeah, you can still hear it scratching. How am I doing? Batteries are good. All right. Maybe some upward force. Don't know. Did it break it? I don't think so. Let's try it. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh man, what the hell was that? Oh. That's an ugly ass scratch. Make sure you get all these little pieces out if it does break. Unless your game's gonna get scratched. Son of a bitch. Okay, this sucks. <laughs> this sucks balls. Ugh. I'm not gonna push it down. Oh, I think it got a little too tight. Yep. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Let's try to lift it back up. Got it down too far. Oh fuck, it broke it. Oh, that's why they say to buy two. Okay, in, lift up. Careful not to. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and see if I can get the second one back on. Okay, round two. <sighs> oh man, this is not good. Round two. Let's see if I don't break this one. I don't want to. You should go in. This is. Come on. It is going in. The thing that doesn't help is the the little rubber feet holding down the laser or hel helping the laser stay in place because it kind of goes down and I'm afraid to put too much force into it otherwise it'll break there we go and it's still kind of high put it down just a little bit, come on alright, gotta make sure there's no debris because I don't want it to scratch my game like it did right now. Uh, I'm still kind of pissed off at that. Still kind of... High. The problem is that it doesn't go any lower. Excuse me, I got some sweat in my glasses. It's hot in here, man. Okay. Uh, might be it. I think it 
pushed it down just enough. Let's check. Oh yeah, let's see. I don't hear anything. Do you guys hear anything? Nope. Alright. Okay. What I'm going to do, let me show you what's going on. How you want it to. I'm not sure if you're going to see this in the camera. But you see the little knob in the center is kind of protruding out just enough. If it's flush, you're going to get that sound that I just got where it was scraping against the top. You want it to somewhat come out just enough to where it doesn't scratch. Or it does, it's not rubbing up against the top. That's what you want. Alright, let's try it out. Okay, sorry about that guys. Uh, testing time. Grab the control. Okay, I'm going to let it spin for a little bit. Alright, I'm going to let it spin for a little bit. Turn this light off. It's hot. Yeah, just leave it on. There. Okay. Test number two. <clears throat> what was happening earlier with the old spindle was that I would turn it off and then turn it back on, and then you could hear it grinding against the top here. So. Hopefully it doesn't do that. If it doesn't do that this time, I'm going to call it a success. Nope. Nice and quiet. Cool. Awesome. Okay, as a review, order two of them. Order two spindles, because as you saw, I broke the first one. So it's, it, it pays off to read the comments on anything that you buy just in case. I do that a lot with Newegg, especially when I order parts, like computer parts, I always read the comments. And I do find something with, I always find something in there. So it's very helpful that you read the comments. So, don't use a flathead screwdriver, use a butter knife. This guy right here, use a butter knife. Order two of them or else you're going to end up with a mess like this if you don't. And you're going to be out of the pl you're going to have to order another one. Order two spindles, and just be very careful. Don't use your fingers to push it down. As you notice, one of the first one, I pressed it against, I pressed it on the ceramic spindle, and it cracked it. So, don't use your fingers. You just got this guy, and have patience, because as you can see, that was a pain in the ass. All right. So this might be uh, my 
the last video I'm repairing stuff for a while unless I get like somebody who needs help it could be a, a console or a computer or something I don't know but this will probably be it for a while but I hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys learned something and thanks for watching